What is the strangest thing you have experienced during work? Not me, my aunt. She had one patient that had an infection so bad you could smell her from down the hall. When they took a sample and sent it down to the lab, this is the conversation that happened over the phone a while later. Lab, okay this isn't funny. I know you nurses have a twisted sense of humor, but that went too far. Aunt, what the hell are you talking about? Lab, come on April, you know what you pulled. You didn't send us human flesh. The woman they were examining had used some kind of phallus-shaped pork as a sex toy, and it wound up rotting, inside of her. They gave her antibiotics and told her to never, ever use anything for a dildo besides a manufactured sex toy. Dad is an OBGYN. Two stories he tells always makes me chuckle. The first was when he was a resident he was doing a breast exam on a morbidly obese woman. We're talking somewhere in the 600 to 700 pounds range. As he lifted her breast, he found a soggy, half-eaten cookie. The story made its rounds around the hospital, and eventually he had people he didn't know telling him did you hear some resident found a cookie under a patient's breast. Second story was when he was doing a pelvic exam on a woman with a prolapsed bladder. At some point during the exam, when my dad's face was in a relatively close distance to the patient's ahem area, she violently coughed. A spray of shark misted my dad in the face. He assured the patient that it happens all the time, and he had to excuse himself from the exam room because he was trying not to laugh hysterically. From another thread. I was doing clinicals at a large, inner-city clinic attached to a hospital. The first patient of the day was a woman in her 50s who had recently had a vaginectomy to try and combat vaginal cancer. They had gone and removed her entire vagina, I've never seen anything like it. After we removed the packing, it was just a huge, gaping, dripping maw and between her legs there was absolutely nothing left of her female anatomy. The worst part was how terrible she felt about the whole thing, she refused to let her husband see anything, and was in tears the entire time, telling him he should go she doesn't deserve to have him now. For the most part he just cried, attempted to hold her hand, and told her he loved her and could never leave. Jesus, that's brutal. I worked for an OBGYN. I have a couple of favorites. Story 1, a lady once came in complaining of having cramps and didn't understand why because she was 48 and menopausal. Doctor does his normal routine examination then tells her he wants to do a pregnancy test. We could hear her laughing at him. The urine test came back positive, and she went nuts. Bullshit. Your test is wrong. This is impossible. I'm in menopause. This continued for about 20 minutes. Finally he talked her into an ultrasound and lo and behold she was definitely pregnant. After the shock wore off she started sobbing because she was afraid she'd be dead before her child would graduate high school. Story 2, a couple came in for their initial OB visit. The guy that accompanied the new mom left his wallet in the room. The wallet had $600 and several credit cards. We attempted to contact the young woman to notify her it was left behind. No response. She never returned either. After a week or so, we decided to write letters to the address on the driver's license. Seriously, months went by and no fucking response. Our administrator then instructed us to send a letter requiring a signature. That one was received, and then all hell broke loose. A woman called to claim the wallet, stating it was her husband's. Then proceeded to question why he was there. We weren't her doctor, why would he be there? Men don't go to gyno visits unless there's a baby involved. We grew tired of repeating to her that we could not divulge any information. Just that we had his wallet, and that if she wanted to claim it she just needed to provide proof to her claim when picking it up. When she arrived, the hell that broke loose over the phone was splattered all over the walls in the office. She was screaming, crying, cussing biggest. Scene. Ever. We felt bad for her. Story 3, cute couple expecting their first baby. At about 20 to 22 weeks, they get their big ultrasound. Only one they've had. 
I see them walking back to my office white-faced and quiet. I feared something was wrong with the baby. Nope. It turned out it was two babies. At the time of delivery, sister kicked her brother out of the womb real fast, and then spent the rest of the day and night lounging. Mom ended up getting a cesarean to get sister out. Poor lady had a vag and a section. Story 4, couple is getting an ultrasound. Tech tells them that by how the baby was measuring, baby would be full term by X date. Well dad counted backward and suddenly stood up yelling that he was in another state at that time. Needless to say some chairs were thrown and he literally walked out and left her there. Apparently she planned on letting him think the baby was his and born premature. That's all I can think of for now. Working in OBGYN was entertaining at times. Edit, so many typos. I'll never understand why I read these threads. Hey man, me neither. It's 3 in the morning and I misread the title. Why I kept reading is anyone's guess. Well if anyone misreads you as being the angry underscore gynecologist you could tell them why. Or if you wake up one day and you've switched genders you have a jump start. Physician assistant here. Was performing a pelvic exam on a pregnant young woman, late teens. I have her in the stirrups and start the exam only to find that her clitoris and both sides of her labia are so extensively pierced with charms danglies that I have to ask the MA to glove up and carefully retract the dangly charms hanging off the piercings. You just gave me a great idea, vaginal dream catcher piercing. You know, to keep the nightmares away from one's lady bits. My OBGYN told me a story of a very sweet old lady who was her patient. She was getting frequent yeast infections, and my doctor told her that yogurt was good for vaginal health. Cue to the next appointment, and they go to do the pelvic exam, and lo and behold this poor, sweet old lady had strawberry yoplait smeared in and around her vagina. Edit for clarity, the doctor definitely meant for her to eat the yogurt, not apply it topically. Are you not supposed to do that? You're supposed to use unflavored yogurt. From an old thread. My sister's boyfriend was doing a gyno rotation. He was quite upset, as he was examining a woman that from sight and smell alone it was obvious she had cervical cancer so advanced that she wasn't going to make it. For the first time on that rotation he had to warn someone about their imminent death. It was all very depressing and solemn, so it was quite a relief when it turned out to be a tampon that had been in there long enough to resemble a tumor. I had a professor who once worked at a hospital, and this woman came into the ER complaining of a purple discharge from her vagina. While the nurses asked her questions, the woman said that she used a cervical cap as her form of birth control. They then asked what type of jelly she had been using in the cervical cap, she replied with welches. This woman had been using grape jelly instead of spermicidal jelly in her cervical cap. Do you want ants? This is how you get ants. Not a gynecologist, but I was an intern in a hospital in Saudi Arabia. I was shocked to find out they hand out officially stamped virginity certificates to young girls who are looking for marriage or are about to get engaged, the groom's family demands one, by the gynecologist department. <laughs>